Hello, welcome back to episode 138 of my blind let's play of Dark Souls 3. I just got a fucking item in this little hidden room here that was through an illusory wall. I just realized I don't even remember what I picked up. There was a soul, but then what else did I get in here? Pale tongue? No. What the fuck did I pick up in here? Oh, it might have just been a gem. Or no, it was lightning arrow. That's what it was. Holy shit. Fuck, just... Thoughts go in one fucking ear and out the other. Um, yeah. Blind Let's Play of Dark Souls 3, episode 138. I'm in, you know, I'm fairly deep into the Ringed City, I think. I'm liking this part of the Ringed City now that I'm in some kind of towery castle kind of area. I just beat the shit out of some dragon and he didn't die, he just dipped. So there's still an area on the cliffside below I gotta explore. How much do we wanna bet? That this crystal lizard is either going to lure me uh, down another fucking, like, hole that the last one lured me down, or into some fucking deadly enemies. Let's go try and take him out. R2 jump attack into R1 poke. Damn. R2 jump attack. Okay, R1 poke. R1 poke, go for it. Gotcha. Titanite scale 2. Awesome. Yeah, this shit is badass. If I could play a, a From Software game that was just castle type of areas, just the just one giant castle, just the interior of one giant maze-like interactive castle that kept looping back on itself in all kinds of ways, I would be heaven. I've never played, um, speaking of retro games as I was in the last episode, I've never actually played Symphony of the Night, Castlevania Symphony of the Night for the PS1 or Sega Saturn. Believe it or not, I've played uh, Circle of the Moon and uh, Harmony of Dissonance for the Game Boy Advance. I have those in the on the on my Switch in the Game Boy Advance Castlevania collection, and I am still going to play through the third uh, Game Boy Advance game, which is also in that collection called Aria of Sorrow. Those, along with um, uh, Symphony of the Night, and also three of them on on the DS are all like Metroidvanias, which I really like. Which basically Dark Souls 1 is like a Metroidvania. Oh, I can't get this yet, eh? Is that Gwyn? That's gotta be a statue of Gwyn, eh? Well, how do I get that? How do I get that? Well, shucks. Um, yeah, and so those games, and I also played um, Bloodstained Ritual of the Moon, which is not a Castlevania game technically, but basically is a Castlevania game. It's just not by Konami. Uh, but it was made by the same guy that made Symphony of the Night and all those other Metroidvanias. Um, they gave the, the name of the genre to Metroidvanias. Uh, Ko Koji Igarashi. Dude, look at that. Oh, I'm finally at the church. That's where I am. I started way up there. Okay, I bet this elevator takes me down to that other shortcut. Oh, it's up! Or maybe it takes me up to the shortcut. Oh, I saw that. Yep. Here's the shortcut. Okay. So let's warp to the next bonfire and let's go explore below the cliffside, hopefully without that dragon attacking me. Uh, Medir, the dragon, is supposed to be watching over uh, Gwyn's daughter, who is sleeping inside of the church there. So I'm assuming that purple dragon is Medir, and that I'm going to have to fight him. He's supposedly one of the hardest bosses in the game. Um, Gwyn, Lord of Cinder, gifted... First Lord of Cinder, gifted... Or first, first Lord, whatever it's called gifted this city to the pygmies which uh is it one of the fucking enemies that are in the intro of dark souls one along with like grave lord nito and seath the scaleless etc which talks about how those guys all including gwyn lord of sunlight destroyed the dragons and ended the age of dragons and began the age of fire um he gifted this ringed city to the pygmies. Can't remember why. Probably for help taking out the dragons, I guess. 
And he gifted them his daughter, too, which is, like, kind of creepy and weird. But, um... But then there was a guy at the beginning of this area who was like, ugh. Uh, he was, like, against Gwyn and against Gwyn's daughter. He was like, you should kill the girl and her sleep is just, like, a trick. And it's guarding the dark soul. She's guarding the dark soul. So there's a lot going on here. I don't fully understand it all. I try to keep as much of it in my mind as possible to try and understand this game better. Since it is so interesting. But, uh, yeah. Okay, no more dragon here bothering me so I can do a little more quick exploration very good very good fuck you damn it I thought he was dead already god damn son of a bitch okay fuck off fuck oh my god what the hell they can push through my attacks these little pygmy pieces of shit so annoying Oh, see? I go for my fucking poke attack with my giant spear wearing this heavy-ass armor. And he just has to push me and I, my attack doesn't go off. Oh, very annoying. And yeah, the, the girl who was, like, imprisoned, like, way near the top of the city at the top of that big, long street that I had to come down to get here into the swamp um, was, was telling me about how Madeir is, like hiding or protecting the girl and that she was on Madeira's side and on the girl's side and on Gwen's side even though she's imprisoned I don't know maybe she's imprisoned by the pygmies oh, but wouldn't the pygmies be on her side since she was a gift from Gwen to them uh, she wants me to kill Madeira as like a mercy to to Madeira or something to end his fucking long uh, long work here What? Who? Where? Oh, shit. Ugh. I'm trying to fucking get a grip on this fucking area. Fuck you! Keep getting interrupted by bullshit. Okay. Uh. Okay, the one tunnel was back here, right? And then the that... Tunnel with the bracing... This is the dead end, right? Where there's an item there, nothing there. Right, right, right. Okay, and then the... What's what's that called? That, like, wooden bracing on the outside of that tunnel up there. I can't remember what that's called when you... Shoring. The shoring. The tunnel with the shoring up here is the one that I went into, and then it's got, like, the, the circular interior area with the stairs and the, the lizard that... Uh, baits you into falling down the breakable hole in the floor, etc. Okay, so I just have to go down here and explore this. Could I have come here the first time with the dragon breathing fire at me? I'm not sure. I don't know if the fire would have ended up here. Part of me says maybe yes, he could have hit you down here. Don't know. Yeah, I saw you. Oh, you're gonna try and push me off the cliff, you piece of crap. Oh, fuck, I better actually heal. I shall heal, shan't I? That area down there is where I got the large, like the dragon great shield or whatever. After fighting the one ringed knight. Two titan knight scales. That's it. That's all I came down here for. Cool. How many consumable souls do I have? Maybe I should take another trip back to... Back to the shrine and get another level? I can't remember if I have consumable souls on me or if I've used them all up. I know I used a bunch, but I can't remember if I've gotten more since then, I guess. I, I have a few. Nothing enormous, so probably I'm not quite there. Okay, so let's go on the elevator and let's figure out how many hidden paths there are off of this elevator, which is... I'm not at the right... Okay, I'm <laughs> sorry, I need to rewarp. That's what it is. Here we go. Let's rewarp. Let's drink a little more water, keep myself hydrated. The 
Yeah, eventually I would like to stream. I'm not actually streaming of any of this. I'm just recording it off the PS4. Uh, and yeah, I am moving at the end of May and then going on uh, like a... Just driving around the United States going on a road trip. So, not really going to be streaming PS4 while I'm doing that. But, uh, yeah, for now I'm just going to keep recording videos one, one hour at a time. But, wherever I live next, I really ought to just get a nice, solid internet connection, get a camera too, and then I'll, I'll start streaming. Hopefully I could stream. Can you stream simultaneously on Twitch and YouTube? Maybe I could switch simultaneously on Twitch, YouTube, and Rumble. And Twitter. Oh, I'll get... Or X. I'll just get like a crazy stream thing going and I'll get a fucking nice little career going for myself online. That would be super sick. Okay, Eric, concentrate. Let's get on this elevator. It's gonna go down. First time, I'm just gonna like... Okay, I'll just do one trip. Okay, there was that direction. It's a short elevator ride. So... I'm just gonna face each of these four directions. Okay, so there's that, that these um, parts of it are... I know there's eight directions, but I'll, I'll just do the four. Just make sure I'm not gonna miss anything. Okay, so it looks like it is just the one. I will just face this final direction, the one to my right, yep. 45 degrees. Is that 45 degrees? Yes, 45 degrees to my right. And I'll just send this up one more time without me on it. Make sure there's nothing below it. <gasps> is it? Is that the very first time in this game? I was going to say, this entire game, there's never been anything below the elevators hidden. Is that it or am I about to walk to my death? Doesn't matter that much since I'm not embered up and... Uh, And it doesn't matter if I lose my souls, since I might just die anyway. No, because this might be something down here. I was going to say I'll turn into the dragon since I'm about to die anyway, but I might not die. But I'm, I'm, I'm dead. Okay. <laughs> Whoopsies. Mythos stupid. Oh, no. <sighs> oh, well. Not a big deal. Better, uh, better to have loved and lost than never to have loved at all. That's not the right saying. You will regret the things you don't do far more the things than you do do. That's not an exact quote, but that is a paraphrase of Mark Twain and probably a lot of other people. Is that, of course, I mean, that's not always true. That goes back to my discussion that I was saying during uh, Dragon Slayer Armor about segregation of detail. I'm sure there are some things that would be better... Uh, just not, not even attempted. Like, what would be something that would be better not even attempted at all? Like, uh, I don't know. You know, that saying it basically is trying to, uh, show people or make people understand that it's better to take risks. And if you fail, at least you tried and you might learn something and at least you'll have a little more self-esteem about yourself because you weren't a total coward. But some things are too risky to try, I guess is what I could say. Some things probably shouldn't even be attempted because they'd be too risky. You gotta use your best judgment. You could say, you know, Keep always in balance, don't think in absolutes, but then even that itself is an absolute. Sometimes, every now and again, maybe the absolute solution is the best one. It's all about whether you can actually think about what you're doing and use your own best judgment. Oh! Boom. Love it. Oh, ho, 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 ho. chloroanthi ring plus three. Are there, have there any been plus ones and been any plus ones in this game? Maybe it's all plus threes because this is Dark Souls three. Because I definitely remember in Dark Souls two, I would get rings of plus zero, plus one, and plus two. But maybe it only went up to plus two in Dark Souls two because it was Dark Souls two. Maybe Dark Souls one only had plus one, and then Dark Souls three has plus zeros or plus threes. I bet it's that. That's hilarious. Um. 
Elden Ring, I'm pretty sure I ha saw zeros, ones, and twos of the talismans. But anyway, let's, uh... Okay, I do have to go back up that elevator and go in the other direction, but let's see how quickly my stamina recovers now. Fuck, I got a long stamina bar. I like it. Ooh, it looks pretty fast. Now let's see if it's any better upon complete stamina drain, because complete stamina drain is like wit, like restoring from zero stamina versus restoring from one stamina is like way longer. Whoa. I guess I let go of it by accident. Yeah, going down to zero stamina makes it take way longer to recover in general, especially if you get hit down to zero stamina. Oh, it doesn't matter when you're running. It only matters when you get hit. Interesting. What happens if I just hold run? When do I start running again? Oh, about at four-fifths. All right, let's pull this. I don't remember which direction the fucking hole in the wall is. Imagine that, after checking all those directions, I still don't know what direction I need to fucking face. It's on the right. Okay, so this was the hole, right? Yeah. What is over here? What is over here? How is there no deadly enemy attacking me in here? Oh, an ember. Right on. I mean, sure, fine, you can tempt me into it. Let's ember up. Even though I'm probably going to fight that dragon boss. probably stand on the head probably if you're playing in multiplayer you'll see like a message on the head if you come here this is probably always some kind of person who wants to get on the head and show how good their precision platforming skills are okay nothing down there so the air like where i started this area is just way up there that's so cool that they show you this church like at the beginning of this area and now you finally get here. Oh, I see that friendly fellow over there. But yeah, I'm assuming this is the run up to the boss. Then again, that church is going to have to be fucking enormous if I'm going to fight f fucking the dragon Medir inside of there. Hello, governor. What kind of weapons that you got? This is a, a unique ring tonight. It's not one with... Um, the small shield and the sword, or the the big shield and the spear? Is this gonna be like a soul? Or an ember? Oh! Stamina! It's like, yeah, you might need some stamina there, dog. Yo, dog, I heard you like stamina, so I gave you some stamina that you can use with your stamina while you're using up stamina. That's a reference to, uh... What the hell was that show with X to the X to the Z exhibit? Holy fuck, that's an enormous sword. Oh wow. Pimp my ride. Yo, I'm X to the Z exhibit. I'm about to pimp your ride. Fuck, you gave me a lot of time to get to this back. Whoa! Nice acrobatics, pal. Oh shit. fucking amazing looking is that what I get if I uh, get his weapon I can do that shit oh too much poise that's crazy boom just do a jump attack boom that was cool that was a fun enemy to fight Ringed Knight paired great swords, plus a tight knight chunk, plus an ember. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. Scales off of everything, but best off of strength. Right on. I do have enough strength to use it. Ultra great swords paired. 
paired black great swords wielded by the ringed knights. The arms of early men were, I've read this before, were forged in the abyss and betray a smidgen of life. For this reason, the gods cast a seal of fire upon such weapons and those who possess them. Ember. Cross, cross the twin time-worn great swords to reignite a short-lived flame. A lightning-quick upward heave slices the very air and transitions into normal or strong attacks. Fucking cool. I'll test it out later. Okay. It's just... Oh! Oh boy. Oh boy. Ho ho! Nicely done. Twinkling tight night times two. Nada. Nothing no nada. Well, that fucking interior area that I was in love with fucking sure ended quickly. Kind of sad about that. Thought that was another tunnel. That's the place I've already been. What is this? Oh, the divine spears that protect. What's her face? Offer Filianor spear ornament. Did I already join the covenant when I was talking to that girl in the prison? Yeah. Oh. Well, not enough to fucking make them love me. Damn. Broken uh, statue covered in thorns. Of course you hit an item back here. Ritual spear fragment. What's that? Uh, what is that and where is it? Ritual spear fragment. Is it in here and I just missed it? Is it like an enormous spear that's just broken that I can use as a weapon? Is it like a ring? Ritual spear fragment. Is it an arrow? Oh, I don't see it anywhere. Oh, I keep saying Rosalia. It's Rosaria. Rosalia is a fucking Pokemon from uh, Gen 4, Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum. Hey, for Pokemon fans out there, okay, check this out. Of the first four generations of Pokemon, there was always the two main games and then a third game. Gen 1 was red, blue, and yellow. Uh, if we're not counting uh, the fourth um, uh, color of the first generation, which was Japan only, which is green. But I digress. In North America, there's red, blue, and then yellow. Makes sense. Uh, Gen 3 was ruby, sapphire, and emerald. Makes sense. That all fits. Gen 2 and Gen 4, sh they they did the opposite ones that they should have in there, in my opinion. Now, this is just a nitpick, but Gen 2 is gold, silver, and crystal. Gen 4 is diamond, pearl, and platinum. It should have been gold, silver, and platinum, and then diamond, pearl, and crystal. But probably crystal seemed appropriate at the time, and then... <laughs> I'm sure somebody on the team, by they got to, by the time they got to making Platinum, was like, wait, shouldn't Platinum have been with gold and silver? And Crystal kind of makes more sense to go with Diamond and Pearl. And they were probably like, shut the fuck up, get back to work, slave! No. <laughs> but yeah. Just a nitpick. Just an interesting observation. I'm sure I'm not the first person who's ever thought of that. Wait, where where is this item? Ritual Spear Fragment. I got a... Look at every damn item. Oh yeah, Church Guardian Shiv. Ritual Spear Fragment. Duh. Summon a row of upward, upwardly thrusting ritual spears. Unlimited use. No FP. Scales with all stats. S. What? Oh, online play item. A fragment of the matching, matching ritual spears once held by the Knights of Princess Villianor. They are the namesake of the Spears of the Church. When the Spears of the Church face unduly treacherous foes, this allows them to draw upon former majesty and some, summon a row of upward thrusting ritual spears. I can't use it unless I'm online. Oh, that's crazy. I mean, that sounds cool as hell. That sounds like 
uh, one of the attacks from Elden Ring that the uh, Clean Rot Knights would use. Those fucking knights were sick looking. Okay. Uh, I don't think there's really anything left outside of the church. We're only 25 minutes into episode 138, so that's good. We, uh, we're not pressed for time. Ooh, let's find out what's about to happen in here. Not gonna lie, I wasn't expecting that. A couple things. One, whoever directed this... One, that sounded fucking cool as hell. I mean, that's pretty sweet. This is already epic. I was about to be like, this door looks incredible. Great fucking use of shaders. And, like, there's even some, like, polygon work on the door. I'll explain shaders in a second for those who don't know. I was about to, like, look back and be like, we've made it all this way. Oh, I have horns on the shoulders of my armor. I never noticed. That's pretty cool, too. Um, oh, he's talking again! Like, I wonder if whoever directed this scene uh, was a fan of, like, the original Aladdin movie. Because that reminded me of the, the, the tiger that was the Cave of Wonders being like, Who dares disturb my slumber? Or whatever he says. Nice sound design. Like all the metallic sound is cool. But yeah, so shader work for those who don't know. So, like if you look at my character. Oh, there's a lot of polygons in that armor, right? Like, po a, a polygon... A polygon count is literally the amount of triangles. It's generally triangles. Well, it's, I think it's basically always triangles. Even if it's a non-triangle shape, they usually break it down into triangles because the triangle is the most basic uh, two-dimensional shape that you can use to build a three-dimensional object. And that's what um, three-dimensional models are, are built out of. You have, like, basically within the binary code, you wind up with a, a giant um, array, which is like a... A list. A list is a f is a list a form of an array, or is an array a form of a list? Probably they're each forms of some more fundamental uh, computing structure. Basically, you have a giant list of um, coordinates that points to the locations of every single um, point that forms all of the various triangles in a three-dimensional model. That's how three-dimensional models are stored in computing. So, it takes a lot to store those and display those. What, like, you know, or it takes a certain amount. It takes more than that to, than just to store, like, a two-dimensional image and display a two-dimensional image. So, at first, in 3D gaming, the, the move was to try and get more and more polys. So, you know, back in the, the day, before, like, before... 3D graphics got to the point where you can barely even notice them improving. Like now. Like, you can still notice them improving, but it's not all about poly count. It used to be all about getting more and more and more poly count to make things look more lifelike. Eventually, it got to be where it was diminishing returns. It, like... You can only get so many polys going at once efficiently. And there, there are... Like, these are quite high poly armors and shit that they put in these games. It's very impressive. But... Like, this door, it's only so much actual three-dimensional architecture. You'll see in a lot of games, like, especially a lot of Switch games, like, if you go look at Breath of the Wild, you look at the, the side of a mountain when you're standing, like, 50 feet away from it, it looks incredibly detailed. But if you go right up to it, the actual three-dimensional mesh, which is another name for a 3D model, um is not that complex of a 3D shape. Usually it's fairly basic, and there are a lot of just flat faces. And on those flat faces, if you go up to it... Shut up, buddy. You're interrupting me. And you, like, face it direct on, and you just let it sit still, it looks 3D and intricate, but if you turn the camera sideways, a lot of it will look flat. Like, that thing... Just the, the the rectangle just above my sphere, you can see from this angle, it's entirely fucking flat. But from this angle, 
like and when you're turning oh the lighting like moves over it really interesting it look interestingly it looks 3d that's because there's a texture there which is like a 2d texture of what that like the image of what that rectangle looks like and then there's also a sh like another layer i can't remember what, the uv layer or something like that basically it's a layer that gives or maybe multiple layers that gives information to the shaders about what parts of that are supposed to be more raised more depressed which parts of it are like more metallic or have other like reflect reflective or visual properties and then basically it's more efficient to to have these shaders which are just parts of the the computational pipeline that will do math on textures i mean i'm i'm no programming expert and i'm no um 3d game engine expert but basically we'll do a bunch of math uh on the gpu a bunch of usually a bunch of floating point math on the gpu that will calculate how that's supposed to look from any given angle and it's just like it's just like a trick it's like a trick that is just way more efficient than like if the way that looks the way how 3d it looks and how it looks like you could actually reach out and touch it and it would have like texture and like those like the the crest on there would be like highly raised out from this the background surface of that rectangle to actually create that all in uh like a 3d model and to light that would be way 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 more taxing on the computer to do all of this in all 3d model and 3d lighting versus shaders you, you wouldn't be able to get this on the ps4 you would need a fucking supercomputer it just wouldn't happen or i maybe i'm exaggerating but basically that that's what it is so anyway excellent shader work and also this guy in the initial sentence that he said he used the word kamest like uh thou kamest here that kind of thing like you came here in old old-timey english talk but it's the first time in the game that i've seen that they didn't like normally earlier in the game they would have spelled it like c-a-m apostrophe s-t but this time it was c-a-m-e-s-t even though he didn't say it differently he didn't like overemphasize the e like kmist he said kmist so just pointing out the little details that everybody's super curious about see those statues are actually more so 3d models even though i'm sure there's still like some shader work on them to like to make it a little easier on the fucking uh ps4 and, and whatever other consoles are rendering it to uh to do so all right let's go in let's go the fuck in oh boy oh boy oh boy boss time oh wait i should uh i should uh toss on some boss gear such as that and uh that and that's that's good for now we'll, we'll switch out more if need be we'll we'll adapt to whatever this boss throws at us all the ringed knight statues looks fucking badass, man. This looks badass as all heck of Rooney. All right, all right. It's another one of those giants. His voice sounds so cool. Really, I've never even heard of this boss. Cool shot. What the? He ain't that strong, but who did he just summon? Is this like a multi enemy boss? Oh, I don't even need to fight that mofo. 
protect our princess. Oh, he's throwing those church blades. One's got the church blades and the other one's got the spears. That's kind of crazy. Oh, shit. So this is probably the big fucking double fight of this game. The uh, Ornstein and Small of this game. Holy shit. Let me guess. These things use Estus flasks. Fuck, they don't hit that hard so far. I mean, hopefully not famous last words. Damn it. Fuck off. I just want to backstab you. Oh, baby. Drop something for me. Nothing. Is this one going to be way harder? Dang. I don't want to approach those. Slash at me. Damn it. Damn it! No! Oh, no! Okay, I gotta watch out for this guy kicking me and critting me. Spears? I wonder if something special happens if you're able to kill the big guy uh, before he just, like, kills himself or whatever. So this guy's more of a tactical battle. Uh, I hate the enemies that have those orbs that come around them. Oh. Dude, if you Estus, I'm fucking going in on you. That's crazy that I can fucking put enemies down onto the fucking ground. <gasps> no! What the? Is that what the make haste means? Is that they'll just re-summon extra enemies? Or is it just once that the extra summon happens? God damn. Okay, I should kill this one. First, since he can heal. He can probably heal his partner too. And, uh... Seems easier to fight. playing a little more tactically this time around. Not, not straying so far from each other. Okay. Damn it. Boom. Boom. Damn it. Again. Okay, so that guy's the real one, and then the other one maybe revives over and over. Oh, no. Damn it. Oh, I don't want to run out of Estus. Damn it, he poised. If I could have knocked him over again. Come on, buddy. That one didn't knock him over. Okay. Dang it. Whoa. Some stamina back. Uh oh. Alright, alright. Pressured his shield, didn't allow him to do what he wanted to do. Okay, ran far enough past him to stay safe. Let's get some stamina back. Uh oh. That's cool that he can stance into like a magic, uh, like semi ranged attack. Oh, I need stamina. I really only need one more hit. Let's poke this mofo's shield. Fuck you. Dude, first try, let's go. Titanite slab, another one, filling our spear ornament, which is just, uh, just another item to donate to that fucking, oh, oh, fuck, let's go donate it right now.
Damn, I thought for sure that was the dragon. So we are not there yet. 39 minutes into the into the episode, so we're still good. I don't know why I'm doing this. It's probably not going to give me fuck all, but you never know. Yes. I mean... Okay, maybe I... Uh, this, isn't, this isn't that far from the bonfire, so let me just be wise. Go back to the shrine bonfire. Could probably get two levels right now. Just get those levels. Yeah, man. I didn't even think at first that this, like, the spear charge thing was going to be that fucking good. But it turns out it's a fucking hella OP fucking, uh, uh, like, special attack uh, weapon art, I guess it's called, against uh, humanoid enemies. Like, the way the extended version can knock enemies down, you can infinite fucking loop it. It's fucking amazing. It does a lot of damage, too. Okay, I just want to check these out. Dude. <laughs> okay. Let's check out the roll attack. I'm over encumbered, whatever. Check out the charge attack. Check out the jump attack. Boom. Do any of the attacks actually hit with both? Does this one even hit with both? No. Can I do a second charge attack? Is it different? Yep. Yeah. The turnaround charge attack. That's kind of like the... Uh, the turnaround uh, greatsword hit. In Monster Hunter. Um, okay. Oh, let's try a running attack. Uh-huh. Running... R2 is probably the jump attack. Blah. And then let's do this. Okay, that's the R1 follow-up. Oh, they don't stay on fire like the other ringed knight's weapons after you do this. Whoa! Fuck yeah, that's what I wanted to see. Fucking right. Very cool. Okay, back to my fucking trusty heavy great lance. I feel like a badass with this heavy great lance. It's fucking epic. Uh, okay, back to boom, boom, cool. Uh, I probably will need to sell some stuff to get a second level up. In fact, I definitely will. Let's just go for more endurance. Eighty-two thousand four hundred, one hundred and thirty-four. Fuck my eyes. Yeah, 134. So I need like 14,000 souls. Okay. Uh, fuck it, sell two of those. Good enough. We'll have a little bit of extra souls, but not that many under, under a thousand I should. Yeah, 846. Good, good, good. Ashen one. Ashen one! Okay. Back we are. We'll make sure not to fall down the hole of the elevator shaft. Pretty sure I'll have to call it. Uh, or maybe not. I might have gone down and then gone through the, the secret hole in the wall and then wound up back uh, falling down onto the statue pedestal so the elevator might be below let's see yeah i'm at 44 minutes into this episode 138 so if i can explore it a little bit beyond where i just killed that boss before having to end this episode no i gotta call the elevator wonder if the ring tonight with the two great swords will be out here for me to fight again Oh, that's right. That's right. The bonfire is up from the elevator. So I remembered correctly that the last elevator trip was going up. I just didn't... Uh, oh, yeah, he is back. I just didn't remember which direction the elevator was. should have remembered better, considering 
church is at the bottom. Oh, he used the R2, or the R1 at the end of that combo, not the R2 flip. Doing that again. Oh, I thought for sure I would get the fucking backstab there. Damn. Jeez. Yeah, he can definitely do moves that I can't do with that fucking set of weapons. No flip? Okay. Yeah, he can also do that fire air cutter too, which I cannot. Come on. Come on. Oh, that's not a backstab. Gotcha. Okay, another hood. All right, let's, uh, let's see what's up. guy song number five in unknown key just making sure I fully explore this room will there be a bonfire for this boss I guess it seems like not unless maybe at the top of one of these sets of stairs is this also a set of stairs yeah oh, oh okay they both just lead into this room I guess those just look like they would hide something hidden, don't they? Okay, I, it doesn't lead over to that other part, okay. Did I poke that? I must have. Let's just poke it again! Okay, okay. Then I'll go down the, the other side of the stairs, just make sure there's nothing over there. I might as well reset since I used an Estus Flask. Okay, if we're about to wind up in some giantly long cutscene uh, and I have to cut off the episode, it's probably not. I mean, I'm only at 48 minutes basically into this episode of 60, so it, it probably won't be a, you know, a 14 or 13 or 12 minute cutscene or whatever, but in case it is, I apologize if I have to wind up ending episodes uh, in between. Just let me check below there as usual, nothing. Ending episodes in between, uh, or like ending episodes like while a cutscene is playing out or something like that. Probably won't happen. Okay, that was not a far elevator trip. Cool, cool. I'm uh, debating whether I want to do another episode today or whether I should just call it quits and just start winding down for the night. It's like, eh, quarter after six. Let's just see what's about to happen. See, maybe I'll be spurred into greater curiosity. Oh, that was a fairly decently long elevator ride. I didn't see anything to explore. No hidden platforms or alcoves. Nothing on the roof. Oh boy, here we go. This has got to be Princess Philly and R up here. But wasn't Medea the dragon supposed to be fucking guarding her? I don't even know if the game has told me that Medeer is a dragon. I think I just know that from people online saying it, if I'm even correct about that. Oh, wow. Fucking, like, Rosalia, or Rosaria from the Cathedral of the Deep, like the, the Sunlight Princess. Wait, is this the Sunlight Princess? Is this the same princess from, um, from after Ornstein and Smo in, uh... Dark Souls 1, was she daughter of Gwyn? Because if she was the Sunlight Princess that... Like, her bed? 
in this game in the same spot where you would have found her in Dark Souls 1 since they did let you explore a tiny bit of Andor An Orlando in this game at the top of uh, the city of Irithyll which is where you fought um, Aldrich in this game Devourer of Gods gave you the Sun Princess Ring Oh, that's Guinevere. That's not Filionor. So, are Guinevere and Filionor daughters of Gwyn? I, I can't remember. I can't remember. And then this also reminds me of Queen Merrick as bad from Elden Ring. But, uh, anyhow. Hello. Oh, her slumber is a trick. According to the evil weird guy. Touch the embraced shell. Oh, shit. That reminds me also of, uh, Renala, Queen of the Full Moon. Holding her, her sweeting, her little egg. Aw, she's pretty. What's with the cracks on her face? You broke it with your claws, buddy. What the fuck? Uh oh. Is that the Dark Soul itself? Dark Soul looks like a fucking egg made of rock. Hello? Oh, a cool tiara. I gotta close my window, I'm getting chilly. Hello. Fear not, madam, I'm one of your ringed knights and I'm a member of the, the spears of whatever. I can't remember what they're called. Oh, Dark Soul is rather bright. Assuming that's what it is. Ah, my eyes! What the? Oh. Cool blur effect. Aw. Oh, she's old and dead now. Never mind. Oh, whoa. What the? How long were we asleep for? Was that the only thing keeping her alive? Was her slumber a, a trick? What's going on? What's going on here? Whoa! Damn! How long was I asleep? I touched that thing and how long went by? An age? Dude, that's crazy. That's really cool, man. That's a cool reveal. That is a cool twist. Light bonfire. Well... Like I said, I wanted to see what would intrigue me. I, I'm intrigued. I'll end uh, episode um, episode 138 here, and I will do episode 139 today. Filionor's Rest. So, yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, let me know what you think of this game, this area, of my playthrough of it, of my commentary, of my gameplay, of my commentary on life and philosophy and whatever else I talk about, of my my moment-to-moment -moment commentary on... What I'm doing to beat this game and my, my thought process and my strategies for playing the game. Uh, leave a like if you like it. That helps a lot. Um, if you really like uh, my, my type of Let's Play that I'm doing or you just like my voice or my personality or something, feel free. I've got these all on a playlist. Go back uh, on my channel. Go back to the very start and watch all. By the end, it'll be over 140 episodes. Uh, you know, lots of interesting commentary throughout. This is a blind Let's Play, so you'll get to see my blind reaction to the game. Fair warning, during certain encounters and certain bosses, I get pretty fucking angry at the game. And, uh, <laughs> you know, I do have criticisms for the game, but I have a lot of praise for the game, too. Uh, um, yeah. So, hope you're having a good day. Uh, and, uh, and peace out, and I will see you in episode 139.